imagine being on one job for over 50 years? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not, but it's a good thing. Well, one person has. Dr. Anthony Fauci has done exactly that, and now he's just weeks away from starting a new chapter outside of the National Institutes of Health. Five decades. Can yep. you believe it? But guess what, folks? Don't call it retirement. Our Dr. Jen spent time with him at home and at work to learn more about his vitality secrets. Yeah, you guys do not use the R word, but instead <laughs> we're going to use the L word, longevity. He is not retiring. In fact, quite the opposite. He's got a lot of other plans ahead, and somehow he still has the energy to do this all, I got an extraordinary and rare look inside Dr. Fauci's day-to-day -day life to find out how one of the most foremost experts in infectious diseases has become basically our poster child for longevity. How old do you feel? I would say I feel about 40 and maybe the most 45. Wow. To most people, Dr. Anthony Fauci is known as the nation's leading infectious disease expert, navigating the country through AIDS, Ebola, Zika, and COVID-19. He's now leaving the job after more than half a century. Every day for all of those years, I've given it everything that I have. To me, Tony Fauci is someone whom I've known and interviewed for over 10 years. I was even one of the first correspondents allowed inside the Vaccine Research Center at the NIH just before the pandemic. The ultimate target of the coronavirus is the respiratory tract, your lung. Serving seven presidents, Fauci defies the image of being over 80, managing the workload of someone half his age. One of the things that I'm so fascinated about, and I think so many people are interested, is your vitality secrets. We set out to investigate the secrets to Dr. Fauci's longevity, starting with his brisk daily walk. Obvious healthy living is one of them. Yeah. But the other thing is a purpose of what you're doing, where you feel like you're doing something that has an impact and you get very energetic about it. And that kind of sustains you. I don't get bored. I don't ever get bored. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Good to see you. Rely on you. Thank you. <laughs> Purpose and, he says, his father's good genes. He died when he was 97. In his 90s, his skin was so <laughs> smooth and normal, and he never did anything cosmetically to do it, but he just looked so young. But it's not just genetics. Fauci is an avid runner and former high school basketball player and has always been athletic and fit. But what about his nutritional habits? I don't do anything in excess. I don't eat a lot. Uh -huh. I rarely eat lunch. I don't drink a lot. He agreed to invite me into his kitchen. Christine is a much more healthy cooker. Like last night, she made swordfish, and we have fish a lot. So I love pasta, so I have pasta a fair amount. Uh, what's your feeling on salt in your food? I have salt in my food. I like salt. I like particularly garlic salt. My blood pressure is 122 over 64 with a pulse of 52. Okay. So, now, you don't add any additional pepper. A little garlic. That's all. I, I was hesitant to put the salt in because you, you, <laughs> you were going to give me crap about the salt. At almost 82, Dr. Fauci still maintains a demanding schedule, waking up at 5 a.m. and working up to 18 hours a day. Thank you so much for It's great to have you. Me. With such long days, I wondered about his social support system. And for that, I turned to his wife of over 37 years, Dr. Christine Grady. He's got to have some annoying habit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, here's an annoying habit. Almost every night, dinner is finally ready. And where is Tony? At the computer. <laughs> he was just here a minute ago, and he goes to check his email before the dinner. Together, they have three kids. She's a trained nurse, has a PhD, and heads the NIH Department of Bioethics. She also lovingly and unofficially oversees her husband's health and wellness. I was driving myself into the ground in the first few months of the COVID outbreak when you sort of said, all right, enough. Well, because the, there's, there was no end, right? There was no minute to rest. I had said to him, you need to drink water. That wouldn't have happened. So I would go and put a glass of water in front of him and then he'd drink it. Or the same with meals. 
And it, you know, for sleep, I just said, okay, that's it. Computer's off. You gotta go. You gotta go to bed. So, I mean, things like that, um, which I yeah. think, I think, he needed at the time. Dr. Fauci spent 54 years commuting here to the NIH, so I had to visit him at the labs that have kept him so sharp one last time. You're about to be a grandfather for the first time uh, next year. Right. What is that like for you, especially in this next chapter? Well, it's about time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Does Dr. Anthony Fauci get on social media? No. <laughs> no, definitely not. I've never had to resort to that now because of the relationship I've had you know, with the standard press to be able to communicate things. But there may be a time in the reasonable future where I would use that. I wouldn't rule that out. How do you think you're going to feel that day, your, your official last day on the job? I have come and driven onto this campus every day, including almost every Saturday and occasionally Sundays every day for the last 54 years. So the idea of waking up one day <laughs> no. saying I'm not going to drive on the campus, it's going to be an unusual feeling. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for all you do, You're sir. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Oh He's my, like a rock a star piece. in yeah, the medical rock star community. Out there. Science coming up and wanted to take a little selfie with him. Oh, yeah. he was Pretty mobbed. Cool. Yeah. He talked about purpose. That's what I love. Have mm -hmm. a purpose when you're trying Literally, to Literally, it's a handbook for longevity. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, and we know hobbies can play into longevity and living a ha healthier, healthier, happier life. What are his hobbies? I know one hobby he's about to have is watching his grandbaby. That's right. And I asked him about his hobbies. He said he reads. He tries to do a little reading before he goes to sleep, and he alternates between history and then fiction. Uh, he's a big baseball fan. I brought him some Boston Red Sox stuff, but he's he's really a Nationals fan. <laughs> so he likes watching sports. He wants to travel. He wants to spend more time with his daughters and his soon-to-be grandchild. And then I suggested that he open a restaurant. Oh, of but he told me he could only cook one dish and he made that for me. It'll so. have lots of garlic. That's I right. That. It, was. I, it was cool what you said about the salt as well. Uh, but you Whatever know what? he does, you guys, for sure, it will have an impact and he will be busy. He's made it crystal clear. He's not retiring. He's just moving on to a different chapter. And before we go, we can't let it go unnoticed, but the trust in the access oh, that he gave you, that you. is so yeah. powerful. That was really unique for us at ABC uh, and for me. And there were a lot of people who wanted that exit interview and a lot. And he gave it to everyone. But he didn't make dinner for everyone. He didn't, he didn't cook for everyone. Yeah, no, right. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Oh. Good job. Good job. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.